Wednesday. The sixth. Hmm? It's the sixth. Looks like it was just the first and now it's the sixth. I put um, an event thing on Facebook last night to mm -hmm. to uh, make right. it, e it easier for people to find. Well, good morning. morning. Are we live? Mm -hmm. Oh, well there we are live. No one's commenting yet. But November 6th and it is uh, sort of a warm rainy day. It is. And there's still trees, cling, leaves cling, clinging to the trees and some beautiful colors. And Yesterday was just a beautiful day. Yeah, but like it does not feel like November. But we'll take it. We'll mm -hmm. take it. We'll gladly take it. Maybe in some other areas more of the leaves are there's gone. There's Peggy and Susan. And Susan? <laughs> Maybe we can keep the Susan roll going. We were talking about Susan just no. a few <laughs> minutes ago. A different Susan. There's <laughs> Colleen and Cindy and Dale. Oh, Ruth. Oh my goodness. Wendy, I don't know if you're home. I know you were out looking after your daughter who'd had some surgery. And there's Kelly and Laura and Karen. Good morning, Karen. We missed you. But we had a nice visit with Leslie, Agnes. Ooh, now they're going a little bit uh, fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are. Well, that's good. So everyone's got themselves settled. Mm -hmm. And they're ready. Do we have some door prizes? We do. So I have a popsicle bowl cozy. Or ice cream cozy, you could say. And then I have a scrap crazy playbook. Some ideas for scraps and templates. You know, we all have lots of scraps. That's and then a good I little have book. three, six, seven fat quarters. I love how you curated those. Those are really pretty. Yeah, I always have fun doing this. <laughs> and so we, if you want to win, you should make a comment. Yes, so you would. And if there's anything that you see today that you like, Cynthia Cherish Pieces or Tammy, T A M I. And I'm doing that for John Lawrence. Because oh, John, are you watching today? <laughs> and you know what? He, he's been missing this. Yeah, the so T A M I. Watching? I know, so I just thought, you know what? I absolutely have to pull the, pick that up and do that this <laughs> oh, morning. Now I'm watching comments just to yeah. see if anything will pop up. Oh, and Susan, you just keep watching because as these weeks start passing, because we were at market. There's a mm -hmm. lot of new things coming, and we have some new things to show you this morning. All right. So, um, <coughs> excuse me. One of the things I wanted to say is that we were, this was our last retreat, came home yesterday. So this was the last retreat for 2024. We had a <laughs> lovely, did Erica say? <laughs> yeah, you said it. Um, we had a lovely um, group of women that uh, really gelled nicely. And I think um, I think it was 11 new people to us. Oh. And uh, they had fun too. And it, it just everybody just kind of gelled and mixed and it was really good. Uh, however, we were going up for dinner on Saturday night. And I'm usually the last to get out because we get everybody out of the room. You know, and then we lock everything up so that everything is absolutely secure when we come mm -hmm. back. So that it's as you as you left it is how you'll find it and we do that at night so we just have the doors locked and Carmen was coming with me and so we we were able to catch the elevator to uh, go up to the dining room and this was right right at 5 30 and um, the elevator got stuck and there were eight of us oh my gosh there were eight counted eight of us on that elevator and we we're on the elevator for 65 minutes. <gasps> oh, that's one of my worst fears. <laughs> it was good. Was it we dark? Just, no, it was not dark. Okay. It did get a bit warm. Um, I was concerned for one lady that really should have been able to sit in her walker because she 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 has such bad back pain. She needs to be able to sit. But um, we did call the front desk. Anyway, I, we insisted that they call the fire department. And I... The fire department was so wonderful. They were just so good with everybody and, and helping people out. And and they were able to uh, unlock that elevator door. Oh, my gosh. So uh didn't really feel like eating too much after that. Or getting in another elevator? Well, they the tech came in. You know, the firemen got us out, and the tech was just arriving. 
and who knows how long it would have taken him to open it because they didn't know where he was so you can't always depend on that but you know your fire department you got to tell jason i just <laughs> my gosh these wonderful volunteers because i want to write uh, the ingersoll fire department it's just a note to thank them for you know how how responsive they were and how good they were with everybody so anyway well then that was that was an experience but the whole thing was you know what we just need to stay calm let's talk about our sewing projects and Carmen said you know it didn't really feel like an hour because we just kind of kept everybody you just want to keep everybody a little entertained and not talking about things that are you know too controversial and just <laughs> you know yeah. Uh, yeah. when when that started we just went let's just change the subject and we'll go on to something else so it was uh got to know a few people a little better <laughs> that's an understatement probably <laughs> all right anyway. well we're glad you all survived I thought you I thought you'd get a kick out of that because I hadn't said anything and it was just like yeah <laughs> yeah anyway yeah there were a lot of people that said oh I wouldn't have wanted to be on that yeah I always think about it when I get in the elevator and that door closes I've watched too many movies <laughs> well you know I worked with a lady in St. Catharines for years and she used to make me laugh because she would never um, get on an elevator she always had a Ziploc bag in her purse and I was like why do you have that well in case I get stuck in the elevator and I have to go th if I have to go to the bathroom oh, Oh, now you added another thing to my list. <laughs> well, listen, to, I was thinking I had to, you know, anyway, but it was just, that was just so cute. I and mean, she was always like, oh, no, I have this Ziploc bag that I carry in my purse in case I ever get stuck in an elevator. Uh, okay. Well, well she's you. smart. I, I, I applaud her I, uh, thinking ahead. Yeah, well, yeah, well, there we go. All right, we should so, you know, on. Th there's some humor for the morning. <laughs> I got we got a lot of people going, oh. <laughs> All right. What do we have that's new? Hmm. We have some exciting things to show you this morning. Let's uh, let's go down here. Let's, let's show, first of all, I want to show you these oh. little coccolinis. This is, um, these are from, I think they're from Spain, maybe. So, see this cute little elephant? Well, we've got other ones that we're going to show you here in a minute. But everything you need here. to make that That's little stuffy, except the stuffing, is right here, and it's all on a panel. And there's a cute little video that shows you just by actions because it's of a different language. Like, there's no, there's no words to it. But it shows you very clearly how to sew it together. And let's, uh, let's, come, let's come down here and just show them how adorable. So there's the little wolfy. And this one is giraffey. And here's Fancy. Fancy. Oh, we got it. That's the elephant that Sophia just pulled out. And Teddy. And then they have these cute little kids. These are 21. And these are little back, Here, like just little, go little kids little bags. Here you can put them so up. So they're like a little drawstring bag with a little animal face. And these are absolutely adorable. And we have this really nice ribbon collection that coordinates with that, that you could embellish and dress them up some more. So now there are bibs and things available, but we're just going to see what the, uh, how the response is. So for the little backpacks, you have the giraffey one, you have the bunny, and there's Foxy. So again, they have everything on the panel. And, and so the little backpacks are 28, I believe. Yes. And then there's the little QR code for the video. And everybody who um, saw them, and it's on YouTube, so they're easy to find. If you go by Coccolini, they just to, to find them. But everybody, the response was good because we sold the ones that we did bring to the uh, uh, retreat. Because I thought that would be something fun for them to see. Oh, the book. And we have a new book. And this is Jingle All the Way, and it's filled with lovely hand Christmas projects. And there's going to be a sew along on um, Facebook on Quilters Nine Patch, I believe. So, um, and we could put some of the wool together for this. I think wool and flannel would be lovely in some of these. And the book sells for $39. So, just to let you know, we have these in, and there will be some some fun sew along um, opportunities available for you. All right. Oh, fabric. 
fabric. Okay, so you want me to do this? So we're... Well, do you want to do this first? And then, or do you want to... Let's do you, because you know, you've been just kind of keep pointing at me this morning here. Oh, okay. All right. Well, we have um, Minky, Tula Pink Minky that came in. So, so more you know, Tula people. Th this is that popular yardage that she has, but this is now in Minky. And it's 36 a yard. It's 60, it's inches, 60 wide. inches wide. Now, this is different than, than a lot of the other Minkies that are out there. And I just want to point this out, because the ones that we're going to show this morning, you'll see that there is no, um, what do I want to say, no bias in these. So they are not going to be stretchy, you know, how mm -hmm. some of them just, they're, they're tough to work with. This is beautiful. You can make a little robe or a stuffy or something out of this easily because it's not going to be all over the place. So this is, so the nice Tula one here, and then here's another Tula one. This one? This is the uh, Northern Lights Mint. It's nice having surprises when we can kind of surprise people about something really different we have, isn't it, Tammy? Mm hmm And look at these, this one. Look at these ladybugs. These are the Painted Ladies in Glow. And so I'll put them online. But yeah, these are... I was going to say, so do not be afraid of these for a backer to sew with them. Because they are just lovely and like I said without bias so they are going to be a delight to sew with. Okay. <coughs> so then we have some other binky that is from Free Spirit. And it's a, the price point's different because it's not Tula. It's 31. It's 31 so it's five dollars a yard less. So this is uh, designed by um, Sue, Penn. Sue Penn. But nice and bright. I would just be rubbing that. Uh, well, you can come get a piece, scale and just take it home and rub it. <laughs> At night when you're watching TV, you can just sit there like this. You can have your little, <laughs> you can have your little blankie. And look at this. That's the celebration. Mm -hmm. And then I have one more. And this is the flowery blue. Also very soft. Yeah, and I just, I'm trying to see if we can get that color to show it better. Well, maybe it's not bad. Yeah, there, you that's better. That's blue, yeah. Oh, they're just softy, softy, softy. All right, so then getting away from Minky, just regular wide backs. There's Look this at one. that. With all the dots. This, this is, is a Wyndham. Um, they're calling it Polka Pals. Yes, and this one's 29 a yard to refresh my memory. That's fun too. And there's a hexagon one, the little mini hexes. Fantasia, Phantasma, I think is the name. So Isn't that pretty? Color. This is a Robert Kaufman one. And it's also, it's 28. You just wait, ladies. I have uh, one company we found, and we, I ordered, I think it's like 23 wide backs coming in. So this is more of a gray-blue from Oasis, and this nice, is 118 wide. That nice swirl in it. And yeah, it is a nice kind of a bluey gray. Yeah, and it is uh, 30. And this one's like 118, right? Colors, this is yes. 118 inches wide, so that's even wider. So there's purple. There's a little bit of pink in it. Or just maybe a little bit of light. Yeah, it's just kind of... Anyway, you'd have to see it against your fabric. It's quite lovely. The Minky is 60 inches wide, somebody's asking. And there's a navy. Oh, there we go. Okay, now we need to get that to uh, show doesn't navy. Look, yeah, that doesn't look navy to you. Wow, it's a really deep navy, ladies. It's beautiful. It, your picture's kind of looking purpley. And it's, but it's not. It is like a true navy. It's more of a navy and black. If you put the black up to it. it might oh, let's do that, yeah. Oh, that looks brown. <laughs> wow. Okay, so black. even that looks, it's black. That's not brown. <laughs> is this going to help? 
No, maybe we're too, the light, something with the lighting. So we have a, a really lovely true navy and a nice black with that swirl. Yeah, it's not, Karen, believe me, it's not purple, yeah. And even that looks brown on your screen. It's not. It's so funny how that works sometimes, isn't it? You'll have to come in and see. Yeah. We're worth, we're worth the drive. <laughs> and ta-da! Jason Yenter has a brand new line that we got. And it was one of those, and we don't often do it, but we bought the whole line. Mm -hmm. And it's That's called, big one. and it's called Whimsy. And you're going to, you kind of see some of it behind us. So we're going to show you these fabrics. I think I just saw Rhonda. Did you? I did. <laughs> Rhonda! So these are 17 a yard, and these all work together so beautifully. Look at that. And this is very different for him. Like, look at that, that nice little print. Looks like a little blossom. And we've got some here that kind of, we're in that kind of peachy, um, maybe I should have something that contrasts that better in between. Because look at that. See with the greens and the flowers. I just want to, just to get a feel of these lovely prints with all the little details. And then I'll put pop this one up. And you can see that better. These are going to make some really beautiful, beautiful quilts. Yeah, we're kind of kind of transfer them from one side to the other here. You can see that, yeah, that one is a bigger print. Yeah, just sort of a different this one, right? Um, I believe so. Yeah. Maybe I'll grab this blue to, just to contrast that if we put, like, open that a bit. Yeah, you can see. Look at that. Oh, somebody is in Myrtle Beach. Alice, good for you. So there's there's Marg Gutland. I know Marg has moved away, but she still stays in touch with us. And that pretty green. Yeah, it's just it's, it has lovely hand. It's this just, one has birds in it. I noticed yesterday when I was bringing it to the table. Yeah, there's it's, there's little surprises because there's little like um, there's like a little bugs. bugs. Yeah, look at these little guys. Little beetles. Here. Yeah, little beetles in here. So there's just like interesting little surprises. So a variety of patterns. That's for sure. And this has, um, there's some deer in this one. I think I have them upside down for them. <laughs> there we go. And that nice blue. Here's an interesting one. Look at that. These colors, you just, you're going to have to come see them because they just work together so beautifully some of them you know just the the way the tones are and they're very vibrant too yeah i think it's the lighting translating yeah, today the white yeah i don't know the lighting just isn't uh well, there's doing us any favors today moths in this one okay. here's another pretty blue in this one with the greens and the creams the thread. imagine finding a thread in a, in a quilt place <laughs> look at how that it kind of is tealy and it just kind of doesn't it just yeah it looks that yeah. and I even have some more to show yeah it's it's a long or a big line I should say and look at this one. vase with a, a bouquet in it. Yeah, it reminds me like of a bird cage, but it's like a vase. Yeah, it just... Yeah, they would make great three-yard kits. There's lots of combinations. I just think it'd make a fabulous big quilt, too. And some just... fabulous pillowcases, don't you think, mm -hmm. Arlene? <laughs> I see the pillowcakes. I see log cabins. Ooh. Oh, yeah. yeah. Log cabins would oh, be gorgeous. I love this one. Do you know, like, um, we're going to, I did a, 
we did put our pictures up from Facebook, but Connie Roberts does amazing scrap quilts, mm -hmm. small one inch scrap quilts. I could see this being like an outstanding scrappy kind of quilt, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. with some of these smaller blocks, but I don't think I'd go that small. Look at how pretty that one is. That is pretty satisfying though, if you can make a little one inch square behave properly. Yeah. Well, that's what I said to her. I said, you really got a lot of talent to be able to do that. And not lose your cool. No, and she <laughs> just loves doing them. Look at that. That's You can see the birds more in that one. Mm -hmm. And then here's a nice surprise. This is the last one. They're cats. I guess, yeah. Yeah, and it's just like, but it's the detail of the artwork. Like, we're very excited about this line. Oh, hello from Sudbury. And Doreen Bowen, it's so nice to have you join us. And there's Elizabeth Ramsey. So then that brings us to our uh, quilt behind us. Yeah, so this is going to be kitted. And this is from that line with the birds. And we will have to get back to you about the yep. price of the kit and it just has come in, but we um, still this, waiting for patterns. One of the nice thing is uh, is that with this company, um, if you pick out, they will have some shop kits, and you can order a shop kit early. So we got the shop kit a few weeks ago, so we were able to get the the project together, and then you know the fabric comes after. So and I forgot to bring the pattern down. Otherwise That's I okay. I have the uh, information. So yeah, so stay tuned for that. We have some show and tell. Mm -hmm. We do. This is Mary Dettinger's bag when we did that foxtail crossbody bag with Fran. Oh, that's so she finished it. hers at home. And this is Liz McConnell. She uh, made a pillow and she decided to try our zipper back that we did a, a demo on a few weeks back. So she was very impressed. And she did did it work for it? Yeah, yeah, she did. I like it. I like the trees. I think oh. this is Joe, right? Yeah, it is. And th these are her fabrics from Newfoundland. Okay. Jelly Bean Row, right? Mm -hmm. I said it wrong yesterday. And this is Megan. She came in on Saturday. And this uh, is her wedding quilt mm -hmm. that she was working on for a good year, she said. <laughs> oh, good for her. She's really taken off mm -hmm. and doing a nice job. Irish chains uh, are always fun. And you know, I love to see when they, when they're, you know, these young girls starting out and really enjoying it because it's, you know, it's a, it's a gift. It's a gift of, it's, it's, um, it's a relaxing spot to go to sew. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's very nice to be able to have that your whole life if you have that spot to go when, when you need to. So. And I got, I have had these leggings that I had bought in Houston a number of years ago. Well, when I was back, um, I bought some because some of my quilters always said, oh, I'd like some. So this is Clara. She was at another retreat on the right. And here's Mary Deb on the left. I have three pair of these left that are in one size. They're $35. There's Erica and Cass showing theirs off. They were having lots of fun because it's just a quilty thing, right? Mm-hmm. So we do have three pair of leggings left. And uh, this is Mary Thompson, Mary Stedman rather. Mary Thompson took the picture. And they were here the other day on Saturday and um, they, um, I would gave them a bit of a tour and they had never been down to see our classroom and stuff and they really wanted to see the studio. So Mary was like, can I get a picture? Like as if I was on the show <laughs> and we were like, Sure. It's a really good picture. So we said, picture. sure. Yeah. These That's Marys nice. are so much fun. There's two really good friends and they're just the sweetest ladies. They always get everybody giggling around them. There's Rosie with her um, Sashiko class last week. They really enjoyed themselves. Yeah, my turn this week. And Look at all. Finished bags. Look at all these lovely things they're doing. And everyone's different. Everyone's unique because they brought their orphan block. And I was going to say, I did post, oh, look at that. I posted the, um, our show and tell oh, last okay. night on Facebook too. So those pictures are up for you to look at. 
Yeah, she did a beautiful job on the wedding quilt, Mary. I agree. Well. And so stay tuned next time. week because there's even more interesting things coming. All right. It's always exciting. So are we ready for a draw? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do the popsicle uh, bowl cozy. Kristen DeYoung. Congratulations, Kristen. The Scrap Crazy Playbook. Cindy Peters. Congratulations, Cindy. And then the little uh, fat quarter bundle. Fran Matheby. Congratulations, Fran. Let me know if you'll be in to pick up your prize, otherwise I can mail it to you. And Arlene always posts these on Facebook, so if you weren't sure if that was your name that you heard, you can look or make sure if you know the person, you can let them know. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, Karen, the leggings are tons of fun. I, I, if, if people end up wanting more, I can always order more out of California. But the lady was there and it was like, yeah, I think I need to get some. They were having great fun with them. Okay. Okay. See you next week. Enjoy. Thanks for watching and have a good fun day. Enjoy the weather when it's not raining, I guess. Yeah. <laughs>